All right, so at my grandmother's house, and we want to know how to clean RAM. So um, RAM can be a case of blue screens, you know, a whole bunch of computer problems. BIOS will beep sometimes if the RAM's broken. So right here, we've got our test computer. It's some HP something. I just pulled this out of my grandmother's room. Um, we're going to clean the RAM. So for time's sake, I've already taken the back plate off of this laptop. If it's a desktop, you may have to take the side of the desktop and um, usually the bottom of the laptops are gonna vary a lot. So uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the RAM. It's held on by two little clasps on each side. Uh, when removing the RAM, it'll pop up at an angle and then you can just firmly pull it out. So this is our RAM like this. Now this is sh really short RAM it's SODIMM RAM, which is the form factor for laptops, not and uh, not DIMM RAM like we'll have in desktops. Um, this is Kingston memory, which is really weird because it's a really cheap laptop. Um, anyway, so how do we clean RAM? Um, interestingly enough, uh, you're not going to need any super tools. Really, all we're going to need is right here this pencil, and more most importantly, the little pink eraser on the end of the pencil. Uh, you know, in absence of an eraser, I mean, I guess you could use like a little a little microfiber cloth or a piece of rubber or something. I mean, I wouldn't recommend rubbing it on the bottom of your tennis shoes, but you can always do that. So, we've got our connectors right here on the end of the RAM, okay? So, all we want to do is just run the pencil along each three sides, both sides, and the top of the RAM. And I'll do that. All right, so we've done that. Now we're gonna pop it back into the computer. I'll see if I can show you me doing that. Okay, so we've already got one RAM stick under and then there's another slot right here. So we put it in at the same angle that we took it out, press it down until the clip slide over it. We'll turn the PC over. And I'll pop the battery back in and let's see if we can get it to turn on. We'll wait for boot screen. Start Windows normally. And it would appear as if it's working. Windows is starting. And we've got out of BIOS. So that was completely successful.